everyone so in this video we will learn uh, data visualization using R and for this exercise uh, we are going to use lattice package so uh, we will see how to generate graphs such as bar chart density plot box plot scatter plot or histogram using this package so uh, if you don't have this package you can install it writing install packages and then the name of package so the name of package is lattice now in my case I have already installed this package now once uh, your installation is done uh, we have to load this package so you need to write library and then name of the package now for visualization we need a data set and uh, for this exercise I'm going to use a data set already available in our environment so for that you need to load this package data sets now this package actually comes with uh, multiple data sets and one of the data set name is empty cars so this is the data set about cars so as you can see so the name of the data set is empty cars so i want to see uh, how many attributes are there so i can simply write str okay so we have a uh, few attributes and as you can see uh, all of them are numeric and one of the attribute uh, it's showing factor so in your case uh, it will show it as numeric because i have changed uh, this attribute type to factor so just to understand what's the factor mean so when you have a categorical type of attribute that attribute is either stored as string or numeric so you have to explicitly state that this attribute is a factor attribute now uh, we have this uh, data set now we will talk about uh, the graphs we are going to generate so we are going to uh, generate these five types of graphs bar chart as you can see here uh, box plot density plot histogram and scatter plot so in lattice package uh, formula to generate any graph looks like this one so first you specify type of graph so here is the here are the types of graph and then you specify the formula and then you specify your data variable the data or the object name of object having reference to your data set so uh, here the question is uh, what is this formula like how we are going to write this formula so for that I have prepared the slide and uh, I will take the simplest example first so let's say we have a single attribute we want to plot a single attribute in that case uh, your formula will include the name of the attribute and it will start with a tilt sign okay so uh, we will go to uh, back to the R studio let me clear the console so here uh, just to have the name of attribute so let's say uh, here i want to plot this attribute the name of that attribute is mpg and i want to plot a histogram so uh, from the slide we know in order to generate any graph uh, the command look like you have to specify the graph type so the type of graph is histogram then you have to specify formula so in this case we have a single attribute so uh, we will write the formula tilt sign and the name of the attribute and then uh, you have to specify where is your data stored so empty cars is the name of the object or name of the variable having your data so you write here empty cars so as you can see here we got a error so the error is I have wrongly specified the name of variable so let me correct it so as you can see here uh, we have a nicely plotted histogram and you can do similar with uh, other plot as well so if you want to generate a box plot so if we go back here for box plot then graph type is bw plot so you write bw plot tilt sign mpg data empty cars so you have a box plot
So similarly, uh, you can use other graphs. Now uh, I'm uh, going to use a graph with two attributes. So when you have two attributes, uh, when you want to generate a scatter plot, uh, the formula will look like this. So first you have to specify the attribute name first, attribute first name, and then the second attribute name. So here, let's say I want to plot a scatter plot between attribute MPG and uh, let's say WT, what? So I will write uh, the graph type for a scatter plot. And if we go back to our slide, uh, the scatter plot graph type is XY plot. So I will write XY plot. Then I have to specify the formula. So in this case, uh, I'm having two attributes. I will specify WT tilde mpg and then I will specify empty cars. So as you can see uh, it has plotted a scatter plot and this uh, kind of plot uh, can help you to understand the relationship between two attributes or variables. So uh, just to revise, uh, so if you want to plot a single attribute uh, your simplest, this is the, your simplest formula. The name of the attribute started with a tilde sign. When you have multiple, when you want to plot multiple attributes, so like a scatter plot involves uh, use of two attributes. In that case, uh, you specify both the attributes and between them you specify tilde sign. Now, uh, what's the meaning of rest of the formulas? Now, sometimes we have some categorical type of very uh, attributes in our data set, let's say gender in a salary data set. And we want to understand uh, the salary uh, uh, among, uh, so salary on the basis of gender, like is there any bias in the salary? So you want to generate multiple graphs for uh, each gender. Similarly, if you have a, let's say, uh, employee salary data set and you also have a educational level and you want to see you want to generate a graph for each educational level in terms of salary so how we can do that so using lattice it uh, is very simple uh, you will use your formula and you simply use this syntax so you write this one and then the name of your categorical attribute so here uh, let's say uh, I, I want to generate uh, two uh, box plot for uh, this attribute and uh, so not two uh, box plot for mpg for each factor of gear so as you can see here uh, this attribute has only three different values three four and five so I want to generate a graph for each of these value. So how I'm going to do that, uh, select uh, whatever uh, graph type you want to plot. So I will select BW plot. I will write uh, MPG and then I will specify the categorical attribute name, data empty cars. So it will uh, select mpg data let's say where the gear value is 3 and then plot that data then it will select all the mpg data where the gear value is 4 plot that data and so on so when i hit enter i can immediately see three graphs so this first graph is for gear value 3 this second graph is gear value 4 and this is the third graph for gear value of 5 so you can see uh, it's very easy uh, to generate graph for each of your factor. Uh, now let's uh, do the same with our uh, XY plot. So for each of the factor level, you can see uh, the relationship between MPG and WT attribute. So we have a plotted histogram, box plot, scatter plot. So let's plot uh, density and 
bar, bar graph. So bar chart, let's say I'm going to plot this for MPG. So what I have done, I have specified the graph type. So this is the type of graph I want to generate. Then I have specified the formula. So formula is very easy to remember. If you have a single attribute, it will start from tilde. If you have multiple two attributes, you put the tilde in between. And then you specify the name of uh, your variable or object holding your data set. So, so our data set is stored in a variable uh, empty cars. So I have specified data equal to empty cars. So uh, here it uh, looks a bit weird. Let me do this with two attributes. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, you can uh, use bar chart with uh, one variable as well, but uh, you cannot uh, make much sense out of that but when we use two attributes uh, it uh, became quite clear to us so uh, so this y-axis is showing wt and x axis uh, is showing mpg so for each of the wt value uh, we have the corresponding mpg now uh, I'm going to also show you how to generate density plot. So this plot can help you understand the distribution in your data. And uh, for that, uh, uh, I'm going to use, let's say, this attribute, HP. So you have to specify the graph type. So in this case, density plot formula. So we are going to generate a graph for HP distribution. So HP data empty cars. So this is the density plot for HP attributes. So uh, I hope uh, you understood some of the thing out of this tutorial, uh, just to revise thing again. So we have seen in this tutorial how to generate uh, data visualization using R. So we have used this very nice package Lattice. And in this, uh, using this package, uh, we have seen how to generate bar chart, uh, box plot, density plot, histogram, scatter plot. And there are other type of graphs as well. Uh, you can refer a link given in the description. For each of uh, these graph, uh, the command is same. You specify the graph type, you specify the formula, and then you specify uh, name of uh, variable or object holding your data set. Now, uh, the question is how we are going to specify the formula. So the formula can be specified in this way. So when we want to specify a single attribute, right tilde attribute name, when you have two attribute, you put the tilde in between them. Now, if you want to generate graph for each of your category, so for instance, if you have a categorical type of variable, let's uh, for example, gender or educational level, uh, you can generate a graph for each of those level. And in Lattice, it is quite easy. You specify just uh, the name of the categorical attribute with this sign. And uh, here we have seen uh, how we can generate all these type of graphs. Thank you very much for watching.